stay off airplanes, flying cesspools. Oops. You dropped something. If there's anything else you can think of, please call. How are you? Not as good as you think I am. Don't worry, I'm not stalking you. My dad just lost his medicine. He had to come back for another prescription. Yeah, right. He's moving it on the street, isn't he? Yeah, my dad, the meth kingpin. Why haven't you returned any of my calls? I plan to. In a couple of years. I was just calling to say thank you. <laughs> oh, there's my dad. I gotta go. Yeah, me too. Oh, and you really don't have to wait a couple of years to return my calls. It's just six months till I turn 18. Does that hurt? A little. It's in my chest, too. Of course it is. Kind of had access through the shirt. This will work. When did New Jersey run out of horny 17-year-old boys? About five weeks ago. It's been very lonely. <laughs> she's a stalker. Right. Couldn't be that she finds me interesting, attractive. It has to be that she's insane. She's called you 15 times. Your mother's not that interested in well, you. Well, maybe I'd be better adjusted if she was. I'm notifying security. Is this about the carpet? You think I'll back off if you block all my fun? You better not be having fun. I'm having fun. Not having sex. She's dangerous. She's not dangerous. She's pretty. She's pretty. Men are stupid. I'm with you so far. I'm notifying security. Oh, give her a break. She's not dangerous. She's insightful. You can't stop our love! Hey. You could get into a lot of trouble being here. I wanted to see you. Yeah, I got that. So did everyone else. They think you're a stalker. One could argue those people might be jealous of your attention. Yes, I actually made that argument. And going home. That's the plan. In Iceland, the age of consent is 14. I'm surprised tourism is the bigger industry up there. So today I'm jailbait, but in 22 weeks, anybody can do anything to me. You are over 10 years younger than me. I said over. Dr. Cuddy! Uh, do you have to know the way to the Icelandic consulate? After that look, I'm feeling a little frisky. Looks like you're up. I'm ovulating. Let's go. The frisky, it went away. If I leave her alone, can I have my carpet back? No. I forget about my carpet. Can I have her? Do you not have room in your heart for love? You don't believe me. She has a mole on her right breast that's below the nipple. No, she doesn't. You've seen her breasts? If you're not with someone your age, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. And for the rest of your life. What about us? I'm no good at being noble. It doesn't take much to see that the problems of two little people don't amount to a hail of beans in this crazy world. Someday you'll understand that. Nina? Wow. David, hi. It's been so long. Yeah. I thought you weren't coming back for Thanksgiving. Where there's dessert, there's hope. Mom told me about what happened with that Ethan guy. You okay? Yeah. I'm um, good, thanks. 
So, what about you? How's the liquor advertising business going? Still pushing booze on a Myers? <laughs> yes, I am. Actually, I just got a promotion. I'm now executive vice president, creative accounts. Congratulations. Was that something you wanted? Not really. <laughs> you want me to spoon this out of the plates? Please. Uh, don't just eat it right out the carton. More, more, more. Is it good? <laughs> oh, oh. What? <laughs> hey, I brought that ice cream for the pies. He made me eat it. Hey. Toby needs water. What are you doing up? Just watching a little TV in the man cave. Man cave? It's the pool house. I got one of those worldwide sports something something that your dad recommended. Uh-huh. There's this Korean basketball league which is completely crazy. Oh. You know, it's not good to eat peanut butter this late at night. It'll make you fat. I'm not fat. You will be if you keep eating like that at 2 in the morning. And where'd you pick this little fat toy up? I worked in a lot of restaurants. Restaurants that serve peanut butter. <laughs> look, do whatever you want. I'm just saying that you wouldn't look good fat. I should get back downstairs. You're gonna make your mother very happy, you know that. That's what I live for. pieces and put them in a the fridge for later. Who's playing? I have no idea. It's it's <laughs> the um <laughs> guys in red against the, the guys white. in white. Yeah. I got yeah. it. Go reds. Or white. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I think maybe I'll go pick up a movie in case you want to watch something later. That sounds fun. I'll come with you. Keep you company while Toby does the dishes. Hello in there? Is there anyone in there? You just have to instigate trouble. I do not instigate trouble. Well, okay. Well, then why'd you come to dinner tonight? Toby invited me. And now that we're talking about instigators, you leaned into me. I leaned into you. I leaned, I did not lean yes, in. Yes, you did. I, you leaned into me. What? Oh, she said, she said. Uh, nothing. Paige and I had a fight, and I spent the night here, so. Mom? Oh my god. <gasps> hey, Nina, how, what are you. Oh my god! Kathy, slow down. Slow down! I can read an ice bucket, David! Kathy. <gasps> oh my god! I'm gonna throw up! <clears throat> <clears throat> David and I 
We like each other. Oh my god. We've always been close. It's not like we planned this, it just happened. You like each other? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, I know what this is. And now that you mention it, you're the one who told me that I should find myself a man and not a boy. <sighs> Terry, I am so sorry. Whatever. Ooh. Whoa! Ow! Old cow eating young grass. Uh, that's a saying when older men go with a much younger woman. Man, you Asian people have the best expressions. Don't worry, Vanessa. Usually it doesn't last. Oh, okay, so what do you want me to do? Do you want me to go or I could stay or. Okay, look, I'm willing to go along with whatever you want here, David. Honestly, but let me ask you one question. Are you happy? If you could lean across this table right now and kiss me and no one would say it was wrong and there were no rules, would you do it? That's a stupid question. I'm not going to answer Would that. you do it? But if there were no rules, yeah, sure, I would. There are no rules. just didn't want to lie to you anymore. Oh, thank you. Thank you both for showing such good judgment. David, you told me that this situation with my daughter it was, was finished. It was over. Terry, it was. Look, we both realize that this is wrong. Oh, you think? But if it makes us happy, why do we have to stop? I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop. We're all aware there's a significant age difference here. If what we're feeling is real and genuine, then age doesn't matter. I guess then what I'm asking is, Nina, honey, are you okay sucking David's old balls? Kathy. Oh my God. Kathy. It's a legitimate question. His balls are much older than her. You? I understand you're going through this like pathetic meltdown or something, but like if you had to fuck somebody half your age, did it have to be her? It was right about then that shit started to really get weird. My father started calling in sick to work a lot. Very good. Now kiss the chef. Maybe they are really in love. You said it doesn't last. You said that the grass is only one of the cows for their money. Usually that is the case, but not always. Your dad is pretty cute. Don't be gross, okay? Just because you haven't gone late in like three weeks. Okay. Thank you for dropping me off. I got you these. Chef's clocks. You said that after working last night, your feet hurt so much. so sweet. You're gonna make me late. <laughs> it was fast. Yeah. <laughs> um. What? Nothing. What's up? Nothing. Well, tell me what's wrong. I... I love you, Nina. You shit. You suck. I wanted to say it first. Well, now I'm not saying it. You blew it, buddy. I'm just kidding. I love you, too. You, but what the fuck? Ethan? What the hell is going on? What are you doing here? Ethan? Like Ethan Ethan? How did you get in here? 
Your mom gave me the keys. She told me to let myself in like you might not hear the bell. Look, Ethan, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You can ask, but I'm not gonna. Who is this? Ethan, this is David. David and Paige, my parents' best friends from across the street. Why are you telling your parents' friend that you love him? The door is open. What's going on? No, I need to talk to you. Can we go somewhere for like five minutes? Ethan, I think you should leave. Ethan, Ethan? Yes, just five minutes. She said no, Ethan. Now look, I'm gonna ask you one more time to get out of here. And if I don't, Pops, what are you gonna do about it? Oh! Dad! Hey, David! Dad! No Dad! Get off me! Your eyes are like starlight now. I'll take your hat. Your hair looks swell. Why don't you go fuck? Mind if I do. Putting aside the enormous and nauseating age difference between you two, you do realize that I've kissed her twice. No, once. We never kissed on Thanksgiving. Oh, well, everything is fine then. Hey, come on, Dad. Look, I know you're upset, but try to understand. Understand what? That I am the first son in history to be cockblocked by his father? Oh, good. I haven't missed anything. Toby. Toby! I have something I'd like to say. You know, honey, I don't think this is a good time. I know, but... Paige. I'm sorry. Oh, you are so amazing. So beautiful. We're gonna be even more amazing.